Turn the system over. Slide the manual latch to the unlocked position. Slide and hold the spring-loaded latch. Slide the battery out of the slot and remove it. Turn the system over. Slide the manual latch to the unlocked position. Slide and hold the spring-loaded latch. Slide the battery out of the slot and remove it. Remove the seven screws that secure the back cover. Using a probe, release the rubber foot. Remove the screw under the rubber foot. Follow the direction as shown. Repeat the same process for the rest three rubber feet. Unsnap and remove the back cover. Press the release tabs until the memory pops up. Lift it out of the slot with pin. Remove the two screws securing the hard drive bracket to the chassis. Slide the drive out to disconnect it from the system board. Remove the four screws on both sides of the bracket. Lift up the bracket and the hard disk drive is removed. Remove the two screws that securing the keyboard. Turn the system over. Flip the keyboard over and rest it on the palm rest. Release the zip connector and disconnect the ribbon cable. Lift up and remove the keyboard. Disconnect the speaker cable. Remove the four screws that secure the speakers to the chassis. Lift up and remove the speakers. Disconnect the indicator board cable from the system board. Remove the two screws securing the indicator board. Lift up and remove the board. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the two screws that secure the I.O. board. Lift up and remove the I.O. board. Remove the single screw to allow the SSD card to pop up. Lift the card out of the slot and remove it. Disconnect the antenna cables from the wireless LAN card.
Remove the single screw to allow the card to pop up. Lift the card out of the slot and remove it. Disconnect the power connector cable from the system board. Unroute the cable and remove the power connector. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board. Remove the two screws securing the system fan and six screws securing the heat sink, following the order number embossed on the module. Lift up and remove the system fan and heat sink together. Disconnect the power button board cable. Disconnect the touchpad cable. Turn the system over. Disconnect the LVDS cable. Remove the five screws securing the system board. Lift up the system board and remove it with care. Remove the two screws securing the right hinge. Pry open the hinge. Lift up and remove the power button board. Remove the two screws securing the left hinge. Pry open the hinge. Remove the base part and the display assembly is removed. Carefully work the way around the display panel and unsnap the bezel from the display cover. Lift and remove the bezel. Remove the four screws that secure the LCD panel to the display cover. Lift up the LCD panel. Disconnect the LVDS cable from the back of the panel. Lift up and remove the LCD panel. Peel off the camera module from the top cover. Disconnect the signal cable and remove the module. Slide the battery in position. Press down until it snaps in position. Slide the manual latch to the lock position. Slide the battery in position. Press down until it snaps in position. Slide the manual latch to the lock position. Place the back cover in position. Press down until it is properly engaged. Replace the screw under the rubber foot. 
replace the rubber foot. Repeat the same process to restore the rest of the three rubber feet. Replace the seven screws to secure the back cover. Insert the memory into its slot. Press it down until it clicks into place. Replace the hard disk drive bracket onto the position. Replace the four screws on both sides of the bracket. Slide the hard disk drive in to connect it to the system board. Secure the drive with the two screws. Position the keyboard onto the palm rest. Reconnect the ribbon cable to the system board and secure it with the zip connector. Place the keyboard to its position. Press until it is properly engaged. Turn the system over. Replace the two screws to secure the keyboard. Place the speakers in position using the screw holes for alignment. Replace the four screws to secure the speakers to the chassis. Reconnect the speaker cable. Place the indicator board in position using the screw holes for alignment. Replace the two screws to secure the board. Reconnect the cable to the system board. Place the I.O. board back in position using the I.O. cutout for alignment. Replace the two screws to secure the I.O. board to the chassis. Reconnect the ribbon cable to the system board. Insert the SSD card into its slot. Replace the single screw. Insert the wireless LAN card into its slot. Replace the single screw. Reconnect the two antenna cables to the card. Place the power connector back in position. Route the cable through the guides. Reconnect the cable to the system board. Place the system fan and heat sink in position using the screw holes for alignment. 
make sure the system fan cable goes under the heat sink. Replace the two screws to secure the system fan and six screws to secure the heat sink to the board following the order number embossed on the module. Reconnect the fan cable to the system board. Place the system board back in position using the screw hold for alignment. Replace the five screws to secure the system board to the chassis. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Turn the system over. Reconnect the power button board cable. Reconnect the touchpad cable. Place the power button board in position. Close the right hinge. Replace the two screws to secure the right hinge. Line up and place the base of the notebook with the hinges. Close the left hinge. Replace the two screws to secure the left hinge. Place the LCD bezel in position, aligning with the display cover edges. Snap the bezel in position around the edges. Place the LCD panel in position. Reconnect the LVDS cable to the back of the panel. Place the panel back in position using the screw hole for alignment. Place the four screws in to secure the LCD panel to the display cover. Reconnect the signal cable to the camera. Place the camera back in position. Press until it is properly taped.